The past few days, I have been making this really beautiful juice in the mornings, and I have created a meal out of it. And I really wanted to share that with you because I just want to tell you that you can all be creative in the kitchen, and you don't always need an exact recipe, and you can play with spices and make really fun and interesting living foods for yourself. So I'm just going to quickly show you the ingredients that are going into my juice. I'm using organic baby spinach, whoop, two large cucumbers, which I cut into chunks, and I scrubbed the peel because it felt a little bit waxy, so you have to feel for that. You don't really want that. If it's really waxy or gross, peel it off. And then two and a half oranges. So um, when I make this juice, I do the oranges last. So what all I'm going to juice right now is my spinach and cucumber because this is going to create a meal for later on. So here we go. Yeah, alternate the spinach and the cucumber to help each other in the juicer. Here's my pulp coming out and collecting it in here, and then I'll transfer it to a bowl before I put the oranges in. Okay, I put the last of my spinach and cucumbers in the juicer, and I'm going to take that pulp and dump it into my bowl and put that aside while I finish making my juice. So in here I have two oranges with, two and a half oranges actually, which I took the peel off and some of the pith off and then just cut it into little pieces. So this cucumber spinach orange juice has just been my last week's favorite. It's so clean tasting and it's really been helping with the fact that it's still really cold out and there's a bunch of months left before spring comes around. I guess not a bunch, but it feels like it around here. But anyway, so this is enough juice for me for the whole entire morning into the afternoon. Mm, I just have to have a sip first. It's so good. I love it. You have to try that combination if you haven't had that yet. In my juicer, I can run a little bit of water through it before I take it apart to put it in the sink. So what I usually do is just put a cup here to catch it and run it through. I don't know if you can see that. I spilled it on the counter. I don't usually have my juicer facing away from me, so. But anyway, so that's my first drink. I always drink that water coming out because I catch the last of the bits. Yum. Okay, bowl of pulp, let's get started. Okay, so now that I have my bowl of pulp, I'm going to add just a couple of ingredients to it and turn it into a meal. So this is just spinach cucumber pulp. Obviously, play around. Whatever greens you're using in your juice, separate your citrus from it or leave it in. Sometimes if I'm putting lemon in, I'll leave that in depending on what flavors I want to add in. But this is what I've been eating the past couple of days and it's really good. So I thought I would just share with you what I've been doing exactly. Um, so I have my pulp. I'm going to say it's about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of pulp. And to that, I am going to put in one tablespoon of organic alive raw sesame tahini. Do they make tahini out of something else? I don't know why you would call it sesame tahini. Anyways, just a spoonful of that. And then I picked my two favorite seasonings, which are cumin. So I'm going to go with a half a teaspoon of cumin or cumin. What do you say? Cumin or cumin? I say cumin, then people laugh at me and a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. That's it. You can add anything in you want, whatever you like. Blend that up together. Now, one tablespoon of tahini doesn't sound like a lot, but it really, when you work that in, it really incorporates well, and it's enough. You don't need a lot because the pulp is not completely dry. It's still a little moist. So you don't need a ton of moisture, but I just want to show you, if you could see in there, how well blended that one tablespoon went, went a long way. Now, 
honestly, <laughs> the past couple days, I've just been eating it like that. I didn't even bother doing anything nice with it or fancy because it just tasted so good. But I was at the store yesterday and they had cocktail tomatoes, which are these gorgeous little beauties. And so I sliced off the top and scooped out, not sucked out, I scooped out the inside and I'm going to stuff it. That's going to be cute. And that's one way that I'm going to serve it today. I'm going to stuff it nice and high. Now what's really cool is that I have some uh, friends coming over on Saturday night and I was thinking that this would be a really pretty um, appetizer to put out. And since I'm going to be making the juice in the morning anyway. And look, I put the little lid on. Isn't that cute? Okay, so that's one way that we can serve it. And here's another way that you can eat it. First off, obviously, you can eat it off the spoon. You can wrap it in a lettuce leaf. Nori sheet. You know, put a bunch in there. And just roll that up. Not every recipe has to be fancy or gourmet when you start out, but then after you make it and you look at it, you're like, wow, with just a few ingredients. You could do this too, right? It's easy. And if you don't have a juicer, because that was the only piece of equipment I used, that and a spoon, right? If you don't have a juicer, you could blend your fruits and vegetables or whatever, strain it in a nut milk bag, and use that pulp too. So I reserved some for my other tomatoes, and then I'm just going to roll this up. Now don't forget when you're rolling nori sheets, sometimes you have to moisten it to close it up. So where the um, pulp mixture is, that'll be fine and moist, but instead of cutting off this excess nori, I want those minerals, I'm going to eat them. So I'm just going to wet my hand and run it along the exposed piece of seaweed so I could finish rolling this up. You could serve it just like that. I mean, it's just for yourself. You could just eat it like that or you could cut it. So I've got my morning juice, my mid-morning juice, and my afternoon meal already made. I think I'll eat a little kimchi with that. Look at that. These gorgeous three stuffed tomatoes and the nori sheet stuffed with the leftovers. Yeah.